Niger citizens said their minister can't visit uranium mines in Niger without permission from France. Usman Bugage, can you imagine? So this is exactly why Niger is fighting for freedom and Ecowas being the puppets of the Western world want to thwart that and they will, this were ready to fight with their blood. How can you be mining uranium in Niger? Meanwhile, the Niger's Minister for Solid Mineral can't visit the site until he takes permission from France. Why? Inside Niger. And they said they gave them independence. What kind of independence is that? I think what is happening in Niger is fight for independence, a renewal of independence. That is what I see happening in Niger. The war in Niger is a war for freedom. And now the France and US want to use ECOWAS and Tinubu to fight this war for them in Prozi. And that is not going to work. Let's leave Niger alone. People, I don't, I would not be surprised if Nigerians go over there to join Niger to fight this war. They need to be free from France. That is the truth. What France is doing, Emmanuel Macron and all of them, is very dangerous to, to, to Niger Republic. So, Francophone, that is why most countries that are colonized by Francophone, the France has not left them alone. They are still dictating for them and dictating for their leaders and who should be there. It's quite terrible and that trend will have to change. Amid the ongoing face off between the ECOWAS, Economic Community of West African States, and the military junta that has seized power in the Niger Republic, political historian and former member of the House of Representatives, Dr. Usman Bugaji, has accused France of pushing for a military invasion of the country in a bid to protect its interests there. Exactly. Speaking during an interview on African Independent Television AIT Kakaki program on Friday, August 18, Dr. Usman revealed that there are suspicions that foreign powers like France and the United States might use ECOWAS to forcefully protect its interests in Niger, adding that not only do both countries have military bases there, but the large uranium deposits in the country have always been in control of the French. Going further, Usman explained that citizens of Niger are complaining that before the recent crisis began, their Minister of Mines was not allowed to visit any of the country's uranium mining sites unless he is permitted by the French authorities. Where, who does that? Where does that happen? And that is part of his portfolio as a minister. Eh? That is bad. That is bad. He said there is the suspicion that ECOWAS is becoming a pawn in a game of international interest, particularly France and the United States, who already have bases in the country. As you know, France has a huge military base while the U.S. has a large drone center where they are collecting espionage and uranium from Niger. Can you imagine? And they are doing all of these things. That is why they don't want Niger to breed. They want to kill the man. They want to do to Niger what they did to, to, to Muammar Gaddafi of uh, Libya. Hmm. The people need to be steadfast. They need to push these French people out of that country. That is the truth. In fact, one of the complaints of the citizens of Niger is that their minister of mines cannot visit the mine of uranium in the country except with permission from France. And they also determine the prices of these things. Can you imagine? Eh? It's very, very terrible. It's very, very terrible. So how how do you expect people to remain like that? The old politicians remain, remain puppets and pawns in the hand of the West. And that's why the youths and the young politicians are saying, no, this must change. And that is why they don't want the constitution changed. They don't want anything changed. And the military is the only group that can take it by force and change things, make things happen. And even in Nigeria, they are just talking about Niger. Nigerians are already clamoring for this to also happen here so that we can be free from the United States and for the British as well. Mm -hmm. The West are thieves, that is what somebody is saying here. France is the problem of Niger, and that is true. That is very, very true. It has been ended. You people are free now to go there and take what belongs to you people. France must surely live there. Exactly. No refinery works in Nigeria. 
but we export crude crude oil there and buy it back okay ECOWAS shame on you people support niger and set west africa on fire exactly okay support niger and set west africa free that is what it should be unfortunately these old crop politicians will never do that because they are also thieves that is where the game is already looking at lots of events of that nature is what provocate nigerians to say no to these foreigners their resources were being stolen by france and uk over decades okay to me nigeria would have support niger to fight for their rights and manage their resources themselves nigeria won't do that because unfortunately they are going to play blackmail to the president of nigeria today the person that is the president has cases both in france and in the u.s and they have his record so they will he has no option but to do their bidding if he try to do something funny they will reveal his record and they will make life comfortable for him and they will seize his assets both in the u.s and in france okay that is what i see here so the these guys are doing cheap blackmail on tinubu that is why there's nothing he can do about it someone said you are talking about niger but it's worse in your country where bandits and terrorists are plundering your minerals with the aid of internal collaborators yes especially in zamfara gold in zamfara and uranium in boronu state yeah. so it is something here that is the truth take zamfara as an example that's what we're saying yeah. direct this statement to illiterate certificate forger tifnubu he won't do anything about it. That is true because Tinubu is also looking at how to enrich himself. It's quite unfortunate that when this mess as a people, the truth is being revealed gradually. The ECOWAS group has to tread with caution because if it it sleep walking in a trap, uh, devilishly set by new colonialists. Exactly, it sleep walking on a trap. The West have set a trap and they are sleepwalking on it. That is what this man is trying to say, which is true. Rather than assisting fellow African nations being looted, blind superpowers uh, by superpower, the community is aiding and abating the U.S. and France under the pretext of promoting democracy and human rights. Let's say a resounding to any war in Niger. Hmm. War mongers simply trying to duplicate russia ukraine scenario and that's exactly what they're trying to do there this is certainly recolonization a country very rich in costly mineral resources of gold and uranium yet stands as one of the poorest nations of the world because its, its resources are exploited and hijacked by world powers so how independent are africa countries in the real sense of the world exactly the africans are not free the world powers are still eating africa dry that is the truth eh? what if what happened in niger was to happen to nigeria how could france have such a stronghold on these people this is mind-boggling eh? say something this is terrible actually so if the minister of mines in niger cannot visit uranium mining sites without france permission then there's bigger trouble there so i can see what is happening why the west and the europe want to destroy niger and why they don't want the military junta they want the old puppet as a president so that they can continue to manipulate him one is the mining of solid minerals two is their military bases there that they are using to exploit the country and three is that niger is the gateway or is the gateway for the gas pipeline transversing from Nigeria to the Europe to supply the gas as alternative to Russia. So, Russia, or as alternative to Russian gas. So, these are the reasons. So, it's a global power. It's a, it's a world politics that is playing out there in the jail. But Africa is scared because of their corrupt uh, life. Quite unfortunate. So, thank you for listening. And let's have your comment to what Usman Bugaje is saying here.